डॉक्टर बरबड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट डिजाइन कंसिडरेशन इन फेज लॉकड लूप लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब डिजाइन कंसिडरेशन इन पी एल एल कंटेंट्स फर्स्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग द डिजाइन कंसिडरेशन ऑफ पी एल एल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू आई सी फाइव सिक्स फाइव एंड afterwards we will be taking one design example ic565 pin out is shown here if you look at there are this is a 14 pin ic and there is uh, it is a differential input between pin number 2 and 3 pin number 4 is vco output pin number 5 is phase comparator vco output 6 is a reference output 7 is a demodulated output 8 and 9 are used to connect the external components for the vco 10 is the uh, positive voltage for working of the ic and 1 is the negative voltage for working of the ic and rest of the pins are not connected so and if you look at the internal block diagram of ic565 as we discussed earlier phase detector is the major component then output of this phase detector is given to the amplifier which is present inside this ic565 the output of this amplifier is given to the low pass filter comprised of uh, capacitor c2 and uh, a internal 3.6 kilo ohm register this output of this uh, low pass filter is fed back to the input of the vco and output of the vco is available here and r1 c1 these are the components used to decide the center frequency of the vco these are some electrical characteristics of ic565 basically the operating frequency range of this ic is from 0.001 hertz to 500 kilohertz a very wide frequency range the operating voltage range is also very wide that is plus or minus 6 volts to plus or minus 12 volt and the input signal level required is also 10 milli volts rms minimum to 3 volts peak to peak maximum so wide variety of input also we can apply then input impedance is uh, 10 kilo ohm output sink current is 1 milliampere output source current is 10 milliampere and many other uh, temperature etc many other electrical parameters are given here let us see what are the design steps of ic565 which is pll the first and very important formula used for design of the pll is uh, vco output frequency formula so f out is the output frequency of the vco which is depending upon this formula 1.2 divided by 4 r1 c1 as we discussed earlier this r1 and c1 are the components which decides the vco frequency so here R1 and C1 are external register and capacitor connected to VCO pins 8 and 9 the register R1 value must be between this is what the design consideration R1 value must be within this range 2k to 20k and the 
C1 can be chosen to get the desired center frequency of the VCO. As we discussed earlier, internal 3.6 kilo ohm resistor is used for forming a low pass filter in association with external capacitor C2. So, this value of C2 must be very large so as to stabilize the VCO frequency. As we know, this 3.6 kilo ohm resistor with C2 forms a first order low pass filter and the value of C2 must be large enough to stabilize the PCO frequency. Here we have in hand the value of C2 because the register used is internally present which is fixed one that is 3.6 kilo ohm. Next step is to find out the two frequencies associated with the PLL that is lock range frequency that is called FL and capture range frequency called FC and the formulas are given by the manufacturer as FL is equal to plus or minus 8 F out divided by V where V is uh, plus V minus of minus V. And capture range frequency FC is equal to plus or minus under root FL divided by 2 pi R int where R int is the internal resistance which is used to form a low pass filter which is 3.6 K multiplied by C2. So, here the lock range the lock range decreases with increase in supply voltage. If you look at here this lock range here if I supply voltage is at the denominator if I increase this supply voltage the lock range decreases. The input signals are directly coupled to pin number 2 or pin number 3 as we discussed in the pin diagram. Due to use of two input pins, DC voltage difference is 0 and DC resistance seen from pin number 2 and pin number 3 are equal. That is why this is differential input voltage is applied. Let us have a question. The statement lock range is higher than capture range, you have to say whether it is this statement is true or false. You pause the video and answer the question. To answer the question, the lock range is always higher than the capture range. Now, let us see one example. For free running frequency of 500 kilohertz, determine the value of FL that is lock range frequency, FC capture range frequency and VCO components that is R1 and C1. From earlier formula F out we know already uh, is equal to 1.2 divided by 4 R 1 C 1. As we know here the R 1 must be within 2 k to 20 k. So, we can choose R 1 within this range or we can assume C 1 is equal to 0 0.1 nano farad and if you put this C 1 equal to 0 0.1 nano farad into this formula we get R 1 is equal to 6 k. Similarly, you find out the lock range frequency using the formula and the supply voltage used here we are assuming as plus 10 volt and minus 10 volt and for you from using this formula we get F L is equal to plus or minus 200 kilohertz. Similarly, we find out F C is equal to 
plus or minus under root fl divided by 2 pi r int c2. Here we are taking the value of c2 is equal to 10 microfarad which is very large enough to stabilize the output frequency of the VCO. So, this Fc comes out to be plus or minus 940.31 hertz and we see that this lock range frequency which is here if you look at it is plus or minus 200 kilohertz whereas capture range frequency is just 940 hertz. So, lock range frequency is always higher than the capture frequency range. So, for low pass filter large value of capacitor that is 10 microfarad is used to get stable VCO frequency. And if you plot the frequency range plot of the VCO, we see that here this 500 kilohertz is the center frequency of the VCO that is F out. Then we add and subtract this 940.31 hertz from this 500 and we get 500.94 kilohertz and 499.99 kilohertz uh, that is the range of the capture frequency. And to find out the range of the lock range frequency we add and subtract 200 kilohertz from 500. So, 500 minus 200 is 300 kilohertz and 500 plus 200 is 700 kilohertz. So, this is what the wide range of the lock range frequencies. References, I use the book named as Electronic System Design by Vaibhav T. Tarate, Electrotech Publications, Satara. Thank you.